Yo, what's going on, guys? Bitch ass flakes. You're bringing in my first ever green screen face cam realistic rebuild series. Uh, if you guys want me to do this as a series, guys, realistic rebuild with the face cam. Get this video to 1,000 likes. Uh, basically, how this is going to go for this first video, we are going to be doing the Isaiah Thomas Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, yeah, pretty much it's just going to be realistic moves happening, a lot of player development things along that lines. Uh, we are not going to do any sort of like trades or free agent signings unless it makes sense for the team and the other team that is a part of the trade. So like, for example, um, I don't see a guy like, I don't know, like Kevin Durant, I don't see him going to the Lakers. It's not really like rumors about it, but at the same time, maybe like a Paul George or LeBron James is definitely in the works for this video. So here we go, guys. It's going to be like two regular seasons, then I might do like a five season flash forward type of thing to see how the team all comes together. So uh, let's get started on this, my friends. Uh, basically though, this team... Made a huge trade. They acquired Isaiah Thomas. And there's already kind of like drama going on with him saying that he ain't going to be on no bitch ass bench behind Lonzo Ball, which is going to, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, man. Let's, let's just say I can see this man potentially getting bought out by the Lakers because he's only on, what, a $6 million contract? I mean, if he has like that much trouble with the team, he could totally just be bought out and then uh, sign with a contender, like maybe the Boston Celtics. That probably would not happen. But I don't know, man. I like the idea of him as shooting guard. Now, for this first season, I do see myself because, for one, Lonzo Ball is having knee injuries. He's kind of day-to-day -day with that. Um, but, yeah, so I, I can see myself starting Isaiah Thomas and then just kind of, like, resting Lonzo Ball a lot and just kind of, you know, developing him in practice and whatnot, you know, things like that. And then have Isaiah Thomas probably walk in free agency because I'm not going to pay him the money that he wants. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of thinking about that. So, as far as, like, doing anything else this season, I mean, the deadline has passed. You know, you look at the roster right here. It's just kind of about player development and putting guys in the right situation. So, you know, for one, I'm thinking Kyle Kuzma is going to be starting for us at power forward. Um, Just because, like, Julius Randle, he is 80 overall. I don't plan on bringing him back this season unless he signs the qualifying offer. If he did that, then I probably would trade him or something along those lines. So I definitely want to, you know, develop the guys that I want to play right now. Brooke Lopez, he's not going to be gone, or he's going to be gone after this season. Ingram got to work on developing him still. KCP on a one-year deal probably won't bring him back. You got a new veteran player in Channing Fry, who will actually be a good locker room presence. So that's pretty nice there. Uh, Lou Aldink still has that three-year deal, so he's definitely one of the players I'm going to try to move in the offseason. Probably will have to attach a first or second round draft pick to make that happen, though, at that point. But yeah, man, so uh, let's get right starting this. This uh, this is definitely a different look team. I mean, it really is, like, fact of the matter. So let's get our lineup going, going into the uh, rest of the season right there. The Lakers are not going to make the playoffs, probably, so, uh, I mean, it's all about development. So Julius Randle take away some of his minutes. Uh, let's get, yeah, let's get KCP at a few more. We got Isaiah Thomas just playing a lot. At least he'll sell some tickets, hopefully. And then once, uh, during the simulation, once, like, Lonzo Ball is healthy, I'm going to put him back in the rotation. Just right now, I can't because he's injured. So, yeah, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and simulate this first season because the bulk of this rebuild is going to be in the off seasons anyway. So, yeah, man, let's see how that goes. Okay, so kind of as expected, the Lakers did not make the playoffs. A record 27-54, and 54, 12th in the uh, Western Conference. Simulate this last game against the Clippers. And then we're just going to submit the playoffs, you know, go for the, uh, because the thing about that trade is that the Lakers now have enough room to sign, like, two max contract players. LeBron James, Paul George, kind of come to my mind, but we'll see how that all goes. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm not quite sure how this is all going to go, because, like, even if we do get, like, LeBron James, um, Kyle Kuzma might have to, like, go on the bench if we can do that. I I'm just not really sure, like, or Brian Ingram might have to start at shooting guard, be a six man. I'm not really sure, because, like, Ben, or I'm sorry, uh, Paul George and LeBron James, they both play, like, the positions that those guys play. So I'm not really sure how that's all going to work out. Uh, let's check out the player stats on the season. See how it's all looking out here. We got Isaiah Thomas, 22 points. I'm kind of curious uh, what kind of numbers he did put up as of late. So, okay, we look at these games right there. I mean, yeah, he's definitely had some nice scoring games. 30 points, 30 points, 29, 24. So yeah, the man definitely uh, put up some numbers since being traded over here to this Lakers. Damn, he had a 46 point game? Oh my God, dude. Yo, what about Lonzo Ball? I mean, I'm sure he probably didn't play all that much just because he still has some nice games out there. Those are actually Lounge Ball type numbers this season. 10 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, 9, 7, 11. Uh, a 0 point game, but 10 rebounds, 7 assists. I've seen him do that a few times. 1 for 13, it happens. Still dropped 11 dimes. Um, so I don't know, man. Like, maybe actually Lounge Ball can kind of learn offensively how to, I don't know, just get better under Isaiah Thomas. He might be, be a good leader in that aspect. Not really sure. Uh, let's make these playoffs. So just because, like, thing is, too, is that... You know, Isaiah Thomas spent a lot of times on Sacramento Kings, so chances are he already has, like, a house there and everything anyway. So, who knows, man? Maybe it will actually work out in the end. Uh, we do have the Golden State Warriors being the Philadelphia 76ers in a seven-game series. So, you know, LeBron James getting knocked down the Eastern Conference. That might entice him to leave the team here. Um, okay, so as far as all this stuff goes, I probably am going to skip the NBA draft because I don't think the Lakers actually have a draft pick. I think it goes to the 76ers since the trade last season. Uh, but I'm going to check it out real quick. 
Yeah, all we had was a second round draft pick. So rookie signings, Reggie Schmidt, not going to sign him for no freaking $1 million. We had a 6 5 overall bitch ass. It's not going to happen. Uh, team player options. What do we have? Okay, so Brandon here. We, are, of course, are going to accept that. Accept that. Uh, Tyler Ennis. Um, don't really need him. Thomas Bryant, don't really need him either. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Free agency time, qualifying offers, anything there. Julius Randle will definitely extend that. If a team tries to send a, like a $50 million contract, I will not I will not accept it. Here we go, guys. Okay, so LeBron James and free agency. We got Paul George and free agency. Those are the two big names I am going for. It's scary out here. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Negotiate contract. Okay. Oh, my God. Dude, we can get LeBron James out of Max. Please, dude. Come play for the Lakers. You and Lions are big BFFs. Best friends forever, man. Let's do it. Let's make it happen, LeBron. Let's make some noise. I will freaking, I don't know. I will, I will send, I will send LeVar Ball to Lithuania. Whatever needs to be done, man. Just please. I'll give you no trade clause, everything. You want freaking 5% up front? I'll give you 100% up front. And then I'll add on 2 billion bitch ass dollars to make that happen. Please, LeBron, please. Okay, we got him. We don't got him. We got him an offer, right? Paul George. Same song and dance. Do max contract. We got the money to do it. Please, please make this happen. I don't know. Paul George is going to sound for that. I'm, I'm offering like a $30 million contract. Oh my God. He's not going to do it, guys. They're not going to do it. They don't want to be on this team. Please. Okay. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh my God. Because if they don't sign right away, watch this, guys. I'm going to push freaking start. And he's going to. Fucking God. God. Fuck you, bitch ass Ronnie. <laughs> Where'd my hat go? I don't want to freaking expose my hairline on the goddamn first face cam I do. Just moved to a new apartment, go get kicked out because this bitch ass shit. Well, that is but a a dent in my rebuild plans. All right. Well, I mean, we need a center, so Clint Capel looks nice out there. I'll offer him some money. He's a nice player. We didn't. Oh my God, dude. DeAndre Jordan. I ain't gonna give you that money, bro. It's not gonna happen. I mean, Julius Randle. I might as well try to. Well, I don't really need him back though. Cause we got Kuzma. That's the right. We're just gonna develop who we have out there. We're just gonna develop who we have. Uh, Marcus Smart. I'm gonna throw him a nice little offer. He's restricted. He might not come to the team. Avery Bradley. Uh, if I can get him for like a season, just to be a veteran presence, I guess. Please, Billy, you ain't coming back to the team out there. We don't need you. I've got Lonzo basketball. Zach Levine would be okay. Okay, I can't sign anybody else for right now. Okay, so we got a deal for Avery Bradley. We can do that. Um, yeah, I'm going to renounce rights there. Renounce rights. Um, I'm not going to do an Isaiah Thomas if I don't have to because maybe I will get him back. No, I won't. I really don't want him back. If I do, well, I don't know, make it. Is, is, is a sign trade, would that be realistic? Would it be to do a sign trade for Isaiah Thomas? We already have the rights to him, trade him to a different team later on. That might be realistic. I would say that probably is realistic. Sign trades happen in the NBA. Maybe to a team that's looking for a big time score. Maybe we can get some sort of draft pick form or something. So, yeah, we're not going to re-announce rates quite yet on that. We do have Avery Bradley first season. I'm going with that. Click Pellets going to the Houston Rockets. Marcus Smart to the 76ers. Okay, all of a sudden, man. Um, yeah, sign trade might be our only option right here. So I'm gonna sign him to a pretty nice deal to try to get him back. We got that. Isaiah Thomas. Um, at the same time, yo, Lou Williams would be actually kind of cool on this team. We get Lulu out here. Okay, are we actually in free agency now? Because we do have money to offer up. Um, Lou Williams, I mean, we, there's not really any room for him on this team right here anyway. Um, for some reason, Marcus Smart's still available. Nurkic, I would actually sign him up to a little contract. It's like, like we can like just barely afford him. So, let me go to Trade Finder here and see if there's like... Maybe we can do that deal now with Lou all dang. Try to toss in a second round draft pick. See if somebody likes that. Um, here we get... See, we got to take on a bitch-ass contract there, which... See, this right here actually isn't too bad because, yes, it's a bitch-ass contract, but it does free us up about an extra $9 million a season anyway. Or, no, about roughly $10 million. And we also get a second round draft pick. But the thing is that the Bulls get the two-year deal of Lou all. We got to take on the three-year deal of uh, Felicio. So, not quite feeling that. Um, in this case right there, we get we got tossed in the second round draft pick, but we do get the expiry deal of J.R. Smith, which might be good for next season. I could actually see myself probably doing that. But, yeah, so pretty much the uh, the role here, guys, is we got to take on a bitch-ass contract anyway. I'm going to take J.R. Smith out here. Yes, we got to part with the second-round draft pick, but for us, it's okay. I'm okay with that. And I think it does free up just enough money for us um, 
to throw an offer over at Nurkic. So we are going to see if that works out for us. Yes, it does. I'm going to offer about $20 million if I can do that. Just because he is only 23, I feel like he's a nice young center to have on this team. I feel like he'd run these uh, boys out here pretty nicely. So Nurkic says it's going to take me over. I probably have to renounce race on Julius. Yes, I do. Okay, which I'm fine with. I didn't want to re-sign him back anyway. So $360 million for a 7-foot center. Uh, last season, what kind of player was he? Let's just kind of check that out before we commit to it. 14 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists, almost 2 blocks a game. Has some defense out there. 280 pounds. Like I said, only 23. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do with Nurkic. I think that's a nice signing. All right. As far as that goes, our team's pretty much good to go going into the season. We're, like I said, we're going to do the sign trade with Isaiah Thomas. Uh, maybe real quick, we'll see what we can get for that anyway. Do that. Toss in maybe a second round draft pick. And see what kind of like realistic trades we can find here. Because I will keep it needed. Um, so in this case, we get we have to take on Della Dova. And also we get Eric Bledsoe. Don't really like that. Zach Levine. Uh, Chicago Bulls get themselves a nice, you know, big time point guard. Uh, Kevin Love, Kyle Colbert, Cavalier is not realistic. Clippers. Um, this right here is not absolutely horrible. I don't really have room for DeAndre Jordan on this team now. So I'm not going to do that. Mike Conley. I don't really see the Memphis Grizzlies doing that for rebuild purposes. Here the Okay, so this right here is actually somewhat realistic. The Atlanta Hawks didn't really have a shot at Isaiah Thomas anyway. In this case, we do get a top three protected draft pick and a 20, 20 first round draft pick. Uh, they get Isaiah Thomas. They get themselves a big time score on the Atlanta Hawks. A player that they can kind of, you know, put some sort of team around, make them some, uh, you know, somewhat competitive compared to years past. Uh, but Sound Whiteside, no. Kemba Walker, Lou Williams, Ennis Cantor's okay. D'Angelo Russell, you know, D'Angelo, or him going back to the Lakers doesn't really make all that much sense. Uh, Denver Nuggets, in this case, um, we get Paul Millsap for a season. We kind of already have too many power forwards anyway. I'm kind of thinking the sign trade just for the draft picks is kind of what I'm feeling. Josh Jackson, young player. Um, Paul Gasol, Patty Mills, no. CJ McCollum, they already have uh, uh, Damian Lillard, so that doesn't make much sense at all. Yeah, I'm thinking the most realistic trade I'm seeing is either the Zach Levine trade. Do I really want a 7-9 overall player for $25 million a season? Not really. I mean, he would be nice a nice rebuilding player for us, I suppose. We also get the first-round draft pick, though. Yo, not that I do think about it. That's actually not too bad because, you know, little Showtime Lakers with the dunking abilities of Zach Levine. Um, plus, it's like we don't really have, like, a future shooting guard of this team. So, getting the draft pick would be nice. We do have to give up Josh Hart, who's a nice young player. But, yeah, like, we get, like, Zach Levine locked up for a bit. And the Chicago Bulls, they give themselves a nice scoring point guard, like little pick-and-pop games with Isaiah Thomas. And Lori Marketing would be pretty decent for that team. So I think I'm going to do this trade right here. And this is more of a rebuilding kind of move for me because of the draft pick and also the young players. So yeah, Zach Levine uh, probably won't start for us this season because we do have Avery Bradley on one-year deal. But we will see how he kind of fits forward going into the, into the squad. Because, you know, like Zach Levine, Lounge Ball, Backcourt, the future. Kind of rolling with that, guys. Let's go ahead and do that trade. And uh, besides for that, I think I'm pretty much good to go with this offseason. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Okay, so I'm not quite sure if, like, Zach Levine was, like, had some sort of injury going on because he is 84 overall now, which makes him the starting shooting guard for this team uh, with Lonzo Ball in the back court. We got Ingram, who's 83 overall at small forward. Kyle Kuzma, who's 78 overall. We got Nurkic at center. Um, bench, I am going to use Avery Bradley as, like, a 3 and D guy that can also slash to the basket. Um, as our sixth man, I feel like that's a nice role for him at this point with this team right here. Can also play small forward at times if needed, or sometimes Levine can play point guard when Lonzo Ball is on the bench. Uh, we got Zubach right here, backup center, J.R. Smith for a backup small four, bring some shooting to this team. And then we got uh, Fred Van Vliet. As far as like a backup point guard goes, I don't know too much about him at all. Uh, let's bring up his stats real quick here. Last season, about eight points per game, two rebounds, three assists, shot, shot about 41% from three. So a player that would be nice for us for a backup. Then we just got some backup dudes right here too. I'm going to take away those minutes real quick. And let's uh, give some more to Ingram. Give him about 36 a game because between him and... Lounge the ball that still is like the future of the team right here. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and simulate this season, see how good this Laker team does. I don't think they're quite like a playoff team quite yet, uh, but I do think that maybe we are set up pretty good in the future to at least sign another max player. So hopefully this team can make some noise out there or develop and uh, become a contender by next season. Well, guys, uh, we won like 20 games on the season. So the season did not exactly go as planned. At freaking all. At all, man. The team was just complete trash, guys. I'm sorry. I fast forward to the uh, awards on Axony here. But check this out, guys. 20 and 60 bitch ass two on the freaking season right here. Where was last season? I don't know how that's even possible with the team, guys. Like, I thought I built a pretty nice roster right here. I mean, come on. those That's a solid team. That is a, that is not a 20 win season 2K, Ronnie. That is a, that is a decent squad that in the future is going to be pretty damn good, I would think. Player sets on the season. 
I mean, we had six guys average over 10 points per game. Zach Levine at 18 points, four rebounds, four assists out there. Kuzma did work out there. Brain Ingram, Nurkic was a nice 13.9 rebound, two blocks, center, and a steal a game. Lonzo Ball got a score up to 12 points a game, got some rebounds, got almost 9, 10 assists out there. How did this team do so bad? I literally have no idea. We didn't make playoffs. We did not make playoffs, plain and simple. That just didn't happen. So, I don't know, man. Let me just go ahead and simulate the playoffs right here. Let's get things going right here. I mean... We got another season to do here. I don't know what changes to make. Like, we are going to get a good draft pick at least. That's something we got going for us. Uh, OKC Thunder win the championship. Russell Westbrook MVP. So good for him right there. We're not even freaking sniff the playoffs, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the NBA draft and see, like, what type of player I can get on the team at least. Okay, so I did have, like, the fourth pick in the draft. Um, I was able to get to Bowl Bowl, who is a 75 um, overall player, 72 height. He's got, like, a 7'9 wingspan. I mean, what's he going to bring to this team exactly? Well, he's got some good potential out there, only being 20. I mean, he's got 73-point shots, so being 7'2 and be able to do that is pretty nice out there. Um, as far as other stuff goes, I mean, post game, not really all that great. Rebounding, decent. I mean, 7'2, so I would sure hope so. He's got 88 block shot out there. So what this brings for us is either a backup center or maybe the opportunity to uh, trade away Nurkic for a draft pick or something like that. Not really quite sure. Yeah, it really depends on who's in free agency here. Um, good thing for us is that all these players are on team options. So, you know, like our core of the team, I mean, they're still young and everything, and they're still really cheap. Uh, J.R. Smith, I'm not bringing him back with no freaking $16 million. That's for damn sure, man. Okay, qualifying offers. Get to that. Uh, Zubac, um... You know, for $2 million, I would bring him on the team, definitely. I definitely would consider doing that. So, I'm going to throw that his way. Moratorium period. What kind of free agents do we have? Anybody that I really want on this team? Not really all that much. I mean, it's just probably going to be another season of development out here. And we're just going to go from there, I suppose. Um, guys, what I think I'm actually going to do is our roster pretty much is complete. Like, this is the team we're going to be ro uh, rocking with right here besides for some bench players. So, I think now is a good time to go ahead and do like that four to five season jump and uh, see what this team was looking like. Okay, guys, so we are now in the 2022-2023 NBA season. Uh, not a lot of luck for this Lakers team in this little simulation right here. So hopefully this is the year that we can actually make some noise. The team is actually developed and come together very nicely. So I do kind of have high hopes for this team going forward. Uh, Lounge Ball is now a 91 overall player. He's on a three-year $26 million contract. Um, throughout his NBA career, though, you know, his five seasons, he's now averaging about 14 points, 10 assists, getting the rebounds out there. Over two steals a game. And actually speaking, man, um, shooting 42% from three. So his three-point shot has definitely developed very nicely. Still not a great three-throw shooter, which is not uh, great, but it's whatever. Uh, Brain Ingram, it's like now he's a nine overall player. Kind of finally living up to that number two hype from the 2016 NBA draft. Um, he's averaging 16 points. He's got himself five rebounds, four assists out there. Also shooting pretty nice from three. So yeah, overall, um, kind of becoming that score we need him to be. I was kind of hoping that he would become more of like a 20-plus uh, point per game score but we do have a lot of options on the team so it does make sense uh zach levine who is now like kind of fit the mold of that future shooting guard of this team on um, this four years as a laker um he's getting about 17 points four rebounds four assists so just kind of a, a beacon of consistency for this team uh we also have bobo who has replaced nurkic as our starting center we just could not really afford to pay both those guys and you know some of the other big contracts we had to give out here too so yeah bobo for our team in his three seasons uh, 16 points, 10 rebounds, um, almost three blocks a game last season. Also shot out 55% from three. So it was just kind of time to part ways with Nurkic. We got Kuzma out here. We're still doing some work for us, bringing that nice scoring out here. Uh, we were able to sign Al Horford for a backup center, who is now 36 for the minimum contract. We got Damari Carroll on a one-year, $6 million contract. Trent Gibson, who was the fourth pick of the 2020 draft. Did not really do much uh, his first two seasons, but now it's time for him to step up as kind of like that future point guard, you know, backup point guard of the team. Uh, Lou Williams, some much needed scoring off the bench at $3 million at the age of 35, so we got him for pretty cheap out here. So yeah, man, I really do think this season, like this core finally needs to come together, get to the playoffs. Um, I think they could definitely win a championship. I don't know what the other teams are looking like out there, but I'm sure they're pretty damn good. As you guys get a quick little view of them right here, I mean, you know, LeBron James, still the league, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, we got the, uh, what's the Warriors looking like? Yeah, they still got their core right there, so yeah, man, it's, it's not going to be easy. I, I don't know if we're completely capable of beating, like, the Warriors with this team. But, you know, it is pretty damn decent out there. And, actually, I did want to check out the Bulls here. They got Michael Porter Jr. They have Isaiah Thomas on the team now. He was part of that trade earlier for Zach Levine. Um, in his four seasons, he's actually brought some much-needed scoring to this team. His first season, 25 points per game, five assists. So, yeah, he definitely is putting it very nice right there. I think that was definitely a nice move for them. Marketing now at 88 overall. So, yeah, man, uh, let's go ahead and simulate this final season. See just how good this Lakers team can really do.
Okay, so we are going to make playoffs this season. A record of 40 and 33. One more game against the Golden State Warriors. Our fourth place in a very tight Western Conference. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Looks like we are going to get fourth place no matter what here. And we finished with a W on the season against the Warriors. That's big time for us. Russell Westbrook, MVP. Uh, LeBron James Jr., the rookie of the year, has 16 points, 8 rebounds, and 2 assists on the uh, Charlotte Hornets. De'Aaron Fox, 6th man, LeBron James Jr. Damn! The man got defensive player of the year, too. Okay. Not even your daddy ever did that. Just going to say that real quick. All NBA first team. I mean, it's still LeBron James. He got right, age 38. All NBA second. We got that All NBA third. So no Lakers that I'm seeing on here, which is kind of unfortunate. Lonzo Ball defensive team, at least for the point guard position that's pretty nice to see all right player stats on the season before we get through these playoffs here oh uh, we got so brian ingram finally for the first time in his freaking career got 20 points per game got six rebounds and four assists uh zach levine at about 19 points four rebounds five assists out there lines the ball 18 points over 12 uh, yeah over 12 assists per game and seven rebounds and then bobo out there with 17 points 11 rebounds uh, one assist, got a few blocks out there. So, yeah, man, this team really balled out. I mean, honestly, I think we could have even had a little bit of a better record, but, you know, the Western Conference is still so, so uh, stacked down here. It's kind of hard to, like, really finish as, like, the first seed on this game. Uh, but, yes, first round of the playoffs, we do have the Portland Trailblazers. Let's see what they're looking like real quick here before we get into this. They have um, still pretty much the same, you know, core of Damian Lillard, CJ McComb. They also have Mike Mikel Bridges now from, I think, yeah, Villanova. That's right. Zach Collins, 83 overall player now. All right, let's go ahead and simulate this here. Simulate through date, or certainly current round, I should say. And, okay, got them four games to one. Close out game, 22 points. We got a triple-double for Lions the ball with 19 points, 10 rebounds, and 12 assists. And five turnovers. Not great. What's whatever, man. All right, Timberwolves, the number one seed. This is going to be a tough team to get past. Oh, my. Oh, my God, dude. Carl Anthony Towns, 97 overall. Look at them stats, man. Here we go. Simulate current rounds, and... Let's go! We're going to be a party this Let's go, baby! Oh, we got the bitch-ass Warriors! Oh, my God. There's just ain't no Ws, man. Like, yeah, we got a W in theory, but not really. Lounge ball, crazy triple-double. 15 assists out there in the closeout game. That was a freaking shootout, man. 120 to 111. All right, Golden State Warriors, they still have their same cores, so I'm not feeling too good about this. Seems like current round, and... Oh, my God! It's seven games! Oh, my God! Let's go! Who came up close, man? Who gave that max extension? Bobo, you my boy, boy, man. Oh my god, 24 and 15. Let's go, baby. Seven game series, 104 to 102. Oh my god. We, oh, number one, Orlando. Okay, come on, 2K. Number, number one, Cedar Orlando Magic. Why is D Rose on my Pistons? And where is freaking Flay Griffin? Oh, there he is. Oh, at least still 91 overall. Yo, Magic got what? Clarkson, Barrett, Isaac, 48. Okay, I mean, I, I know they got some good young talent down here. Number one seed, though. Uh, let's do some work, guys. Simulate current round, and... Okay, so we do finish this rebuild, winning the NBA championship four games to two against number one seed Orlando Magic. Lounds the ball, 16 points, six rebounds, and 10 assists. Yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed this realistic type of rebuild right here. Now, keep in mind, uh, I'm still going like, to like, like, make like certain moves to keep it interesting because I can't predict the future. So you guys are going to be like, oh man, like that doesn't really happen, but I just can't predict the future. So I'm going to keep it interesting, but also try to keep it somewhat realistic also. So yeah, my friends, be sure to drop that like, subscribe if you're new to my channel and like this video if you enjoy the face cams.